Hi, my name is Taiwa Adebi. Um, it's class of 2020 in Time Scholar. And it's really amazing to be a part of this incredible cohort. I'm currently a researcher in the aspect of sustainable development engineering. Prior to NSP, I was um, a final student at the University of Lagos studying civil and environmental engineering. You know, aside from my academic work, I was deeply interested in sustainable processes, which made me a and apply for some grants and I was working actively with United Nations to to develop models on how we can tackle issue across open defecation establishing initiatives and most importantly just you know putting out the strategic development of research and academic you know vis-a-vis -vis, you know economic and uh, environmental framework to ending uh, global poverty and every other thing relating to the SDGs so that was why I did priority NSP and come here to the NSP uh, I came with the high expectation of, you know, learning from some of my dream mentors, such as Professor Wally Shoboyejo, who is uh, uh, applying science and technology to foster development in Africa. And I heard about the NSP directly from Kenny's experiential moment. I'm a twin, so I intentionally prepared for the NSP for over a year because Kenny was here during the first court. And it was really amazing to see how transformative the program was for him. So my NSP application was not a coincidence, but rather an intentional preparation to come here upon my graduate studies. And so basically during my final year, I was intentional, I prepared, I literally knew what the program was about. And yes, it has been quite similar from Kenyan experience and it has been an amazing experience. The, the experience for me at the AUTM Scholar Program has been really, you know, intellectually transformative and then uh, quite optimizing with respect to people I get to connect with faculty I get to listen to and then I've been very intentional about the courses I had prioritized but coming to NSP I discovered the holistic approach to causing development in Africa so NSP made me realize that beyond my passion in research across the engineering aspect technology is crucial with courses such as digital transformation from Professor Sumitra and some of my inspiring mentors like Professor Wally Shubirijo the course was really beyond my expectation as I had come here with high moments it was really pragmatic as we are able to apply practical you know consideration to solving grand challenges in africa and interestingly the most important thing for me in NTM is the people and persons and one of my favorite quotes is ubuntu which says that i am because you are nsp remains the best community i've been with that i identify that everyone around me is a potential value system and asset and i think it's the most important thing for me to be here in the nsp experience I, I think my element will, will, will go back to uh, the course engagement with Mrs. Informa Idigbe, where we did critical communication and then thinking towards, you know, presenting well. And I could recall in my first class, I was quite reluctant, you know, to voluntarily speak. And we were mandated to give a public presentation. I prepared and I, I think I gave an energetic presentation and recalling that I gave all my all to the presentation until date people still call me ubuntu by virtue of what i presented it's really experiential for me and i think it's one of my most memorable moments but beyond that i think the intellectual expositions that i have gotten in NUTM remains a continual eye moment for me you know ranging from you know listening to faculty members like you know professor Kenway smite on you know interdynamics of good behavior and listening to the lack like of shobo Ejo, as i mentioned earlier are, are, are things that when i think about how far i've been able to understand how we can cause global development irrespective of limited resources is an is a, is a really great intellectual exposition for me and beyond the four moment i have with my scholars i think the intellectual connection i get from faculty members are my highest moments I'm, i've actually been very open-minded with respect to my low moments at NUTM. So uh, I would say categorically that my low moments will be the psychological preparation to life after UTM. I'm someone that per se, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, proceeding for my PhD or graduate study and I, I have a lot of applications coming on. But because of the pressure, of, you know, from UTM is unarguably pressurable and wanting to transcend into what you want to do after UTM makes some decision process for me quite slower than is expected to be. So balancing the psychological expectations of some of the things you are expecting and also wanting to compare that with your NTM lifestyle has been personally my low moments. But with respect to relation to scholars, relation to the faculty, relation to the program, I think it has been generally amazing for me. The NTM scholar program has contributed to me in three sphere. First is the importance of people and persons. And that is the connection I've been able to build um, over, over the past couple of months. 
and with respect to connecting with scholars that there's individual strength and expertise in every scholar so i have built a community of 15 other persons that no matter the challenge i've been called out to to handle i am rest assured that i can reach out to this blind might and i will also figure it out and it has really been experiential for me over the last couple of months but with beyond the people i've met and my, my, my connection and my social capital development i've also been connected to understanding the place of african development and how we stand a place in global development so sincerely for me anytime is remains the only particular place that made me understand that technology is not scary as it seems to be it's actually an enabling tool that is needed irrespective of whatever you are doing making me recognize the power of technology in optimizing my career in the fourth industrial revolution with respect to taking courses like data analytics programming i studied engineering but i'm not really fascinated as a programmer but with NTM, I'm more optimistic, I'm more open-minded to this with respect to product marketing. These are things that are beyond my purview of academic expertise. But with NTM, I understand that there's a need to have a translational effect beyond research to actually cause changes. And that's been truly amazing for me. The Shadow Leader offered me an opportunity to go beyond my, uh, my concise uh, focus in my past couple of months. Fortunately for me, I, I'm, I'll be interning one of my desired places that is at first EMP, and I'm looking forward to actually understand the place of energy, you know, in sustainability. And you know, looking at first EMP process and what they've been, what they've done so far, I look forward to first gaining insight on what is happening in the energy sector in Nigeria, and most importantly, connect to leadership in such sector. How are decisions being made, you know, with regards to maintaining, you know, economic profits and also being environmentally conscious. So beyond that, also, I, I'm looking forward to connecting with important persons in this sector and most importantly, coming back to actually understand how leadership, you know, corporate governance and also most importantly, intellectual framework can be used to cause development. So I look forward to an exciting time. Yeah.